talking back to me. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, then welcome. Thank you so, so much for joining us today. If you've never seen my face before, then my name's Olivia, and I post videos every Saturday, and also sometimes on Thursday, so we'll see how that goes. We're joined by a live studio audience today, so if I keep looking over that way, then that's why. So about a month ago, I put in an IKEA order online, and the delivery was £40, which is quite a lot, to be honest. Um, we, my sister was buying bed as well so I think that's why it was so expensive I don't think it would have been as expensive just for the stuff that I bought but it did also take a month which is quite a long time so I would probably recommend just going to Ikea if you've got one near you and it'd be a lot easier than having to order it online but I did get quite a bit here it all is Although I actually thought that I bought more than I did and I think I'm going to go back to Ikea like next week anyway so hopefully I can get the bits that I thought that I bought that like aren't here or maybe I didn't buy them in the end but this is just going to be an Ikea haul some of this is like for uni specifically and then some of it is just stuff that I kind of wanted for my bedroom at home but I'll probably end up taking it to uni with me um, we'll start off with kitchen. I bought this little saucepan. I thought it's quite a good size. It's 24 centimetres and it was quite cheap. And I was just like, yep, that'd be good. So I feel like a saucepan is quite useful for uni. I'm also probably going to get some pans, like saucepans. I also got this five pack of like kitchen utensils. I probably won't use all of them. But I think it was only like two or three pounds for all five, which is a lot cheaper than if I had bought them individually. So even if I don't end up using all of them, it's still a better price than if I'd bought them individually. And obviously those are pretty useful. And then bathroom, I got this pink bath mat. It's, it's quite fluffy. I kind of prefer bath mats to be more like a towel material so that when you get out your feet are like dry a bit quicker, if that makes sense. Rather than it being like fluffy when you get out of the shower. But that's fine, it's non-slip which is great and it was pretty cheap as well, obviously it's like yeah, everything's cheap. Um, but I thought like pink and blue would be quite cute, all my plant pots are plink, plink, pink and blue. So it would be nice if I just kind of carried on with pink and blue. So there's that one, and then I also got these little flannels, there's just a pack of four, and I was going to get, I thought I also bought a hand towel in this same colour, this like light blue colour, but it hasn't arrived so I'm guessing I didn't order that, so I might pick that up when we go to Ikea next week, but I thought those would be really useful and they look quite cute with this baby pink, I just think those colours look really nice together. I thought that'd be quite cute. And then I also got just two, I think these are their bath sheets. I'm not sure whether they're the bath sheets or the um, hand towels. I think they might be hand towels because I'm pretty sure the bath sheets are a lot bigger. But I thought I bought both, so I've just got two white hand towels. Um, so I'm going to have to get some bath towels or like bath sheets, whatever they're called, because either I didn't order any or they just didn't arrive, I'm not really sure. But all I've got at the moment are two like hand towels, although I do helpfully have a bath towel, a bath sheet from Ikea in my bedroom. So this is definitely a lot bigger than the ones that I've got. Um, just... For comparison that's like that big probably can't see how long it is but I don't know it's a fair bit smaller next up we've got arguably the most boring item in this entire haul but at the moment I've got 
a pink bin with butterflies on that I've had since I was probably five when I first moved into this bedroom because I don't remember having a bin before that and um, I'm 19 now so I thought it was about time to get a grown up bin I did want it in white but it was sold out so I got black instead I think it was about a pound which is a bargain and then I got this rug which I did panic about for a little bit because I thought that it might come and be the exact same colour as the carpet that I've got at the moment but it's obviously got like navy blue through it which I kind of forgot about and I just thought that would be quite cute in here because I can just replace the rug that I've got at the moment but this rug is also absolutely massive it's 120 by 180 centimeters so that is about the size of my bed so if you're wondering this rug is the same size as a queen size bed I don't know if that's useful information or not but I thought if in my uni room they've got like kind of gross carpet or like an ugly carpet I don't know I don't want to be like touching the carpet then I can just take this rug with me to uni um, and it will like cover most of the carpet and it's just a flat woven rug because the rug that I've got at the moment is really hard to vacuum which is like a weird reason to get a different rug but I wanted like a flat woven rug so you can just vacuum it easily and this was only £10 I think so that's pretty good value for just a little rug lastly I've got this big throw which I thought would just look really nice like draped over the corner of my bed because I don't really have any throw on there at the moment I do have like a blanket but now that's in my car and it's a similar colour to the carpet again and it's also quite similar to this rug obviously the rug's got the blue like navy blue through it so that's just that colour and I thought that would look really nice just kind of draped over the edge of my bed and that is everything that I got from Ikea hello it's a different day now and we've just come back from Wilco so I thought that rather than making this just an Ikea haul I would also show you what I've got from Wilco and just make it more of a first year uni haul next up I got six teaspoons for 60p I'll probably take two or three of these but my sister has kindly given me her cutlery because she's just finished uni and the only thing that I don't have is teaspoons so I got those but then they did also have a set of 16 which was three pounds I believe yeah that was three pounds so if you didn't have any cutlery already then you could just grab one of those it's only three pounds so that's a bargain and then we both got these just plastic chopping boards pretty standard um they were two pounds each which yeah I don't know so much to say about that I guess that's a pretty good price I don't really know how much would you normally spend on a chopping board I also got this little water bottle with an O on it for Olivia obviously and yeah I thought that was really cute it's like a flask kind of one so you can keep it hot keep it cold whatever you want and I thought that would be easier to take with me to uni than like trying to find one in the house that has a lid and actually works and then we also got some of the Wilco refill pads because these are literally the best paper I prefer the narrow ruled ones but they didn't have any and paper at Wilco always sells out so quickly because it's just like really cheap but really good quality oh this one is actually narrow ruled that's really weird oh they're both narrow ruled even though it doesn't say they are I don't know maybe they changed it I haven't been to school in ages so I don't know these things anymore but I remember that those always would sell out really quickly and they were the best paper and I absolutely loved them in sick form but you probably don't care all that much about paper uh, we're hopefully also going to go go to Ikea soon but I don't have a huge amount left to get we need to get plates, bowls, measuring jug, cheese grater, sieve I still need bath towels or like I guess shower towels since I won't have a bath but same thing a baking tray and I've also got cake tin and clothes horse 
but I feel like I don't know whether those are actually essentials obviously a cake tin is not an essential but I might just buy a cheap cake tin anyway because there's no harm in having it and if it's like someone's birthday you're gonna want to be able to make a cake I do want to get like a baking tray that's like deeper so that I can make brownies in it as well as like cooking things in it have multiple uses and then I've also got clothes horse yeah I feel like that might be useful but at the same time I'm probably just gonna like wash and tumble dry my stuff at the same time when I'm doing my laundry but obviously I'll have a few things that I won't be able to tumble dry and it'll be easier just to have a clothes horse than not have one so yeah I might see what my sister thinks see if she bought one of those but yeah I will see you when I've bought that stuff I'll come and show you so this is the third part of this video. We did go back to Wilco and I got some some slightly more exciting stuff. Um, to start off with these, I've got two pillows. I don't really know what I'm going to do with them for the next two months since I've got to find somewhere in this limited space to put these. But yeah, they were only £5, I think. Yeah, £5 for two pillows, which I don't really know how much pillows cost. So for me, it was a bargain. I also got duvet. Actually, I reckon I could fit these under my bed, so that's fine. I could just chuck them under my bed until until I move, basically. But I got duvet as well. Um, it's a single duvet because I'm gonna have a single bed, which does mean that I need to get single bed sheets and duvet covers and everything. But I haven't got that yet, um, so I'm probably just gonna take stuff that we've got here or I don't know buy some new stuff I mean those are kind of my only options so that was a great explanation but this was £7.50 from Wilco which again I thought was pretty cheap my duvet that was that's on my bed at the moment I bought this one last September and I feel like it was like 15-20 quid so £7.50 for that single duvet is a good price it's 10.5 tog if that means anything to anyone. Hopefully I won't get, get too cold in it, but I am taking my hot water bottles and everything, so hopefully I won't get too cold. We got a little bit more kitchen stuff. Got a measuring jug. I feel like some people are gonna be like, why did you get a measuring jug? You're never gonna use that. Which I'm kind of now thinking like, yeah, will I use it? It was like 35p for the measuring jug. And I use it to put like baked beans in. So if I want beans on toast, I'm gonna need it. So, you know, that's why I got that. I got a sieve rather than a colander. Some people say that they got sieves rather than colanders and it was like the worst decision they ever made. But I got a sieve rather than a colander because then if I wanna make brownies or cake or anything, I've got a sieve. Um, I can also use it to strain things and I feel like I'm not going to have any problems straining with a sieve, like I've strained things with a sieve before, it's not the end of the world. I bought this mixing bowl as well, it was 50p and I was kind of like, I don't know whether I need a mixing bowl, I kind of feel like I don't need a mixing bowl, but then when we were stood there in the shop and we were looking at the mixing bowls, I was kind of like, I need a mixing bowl. So I bought a mixing bowl, it was only 50p and if I don't take it, then it, it's not the end of the world, I just will leave it at home. and someone here can use it or it can just sit in my bedroom for four years and then we've got glasses they were 50p each or six for £2.50 so between myself and my boyfriend we got six so I've got three he's got three and then the same with the wine glasses I got three he's got three £2.50 for six so that's like £1.25 for three glasses which is a pretty decent price next we got some sponges. I feel like that's not really something that you desperately need to buy before you go to uni. I'll probably pack them in a box and then I won't know which box I've packed them in and I won't be able to find them in like the first week anyway so it won't really matter that I bought them in advance but I thought they'd be quite useful because as soon as I get to my accommodation I'm definitely going to want a cup of tea and I'm going to want to be able to wash up like from the first night without having to go shopping and everything obviously you do have to go shopping for food so you know you could get them then but i've got five my boyfriend's got five we're good to go i've got two plates they were a pound each 
and then I've also got two bowls which were a pound each as well so that's really pretty affordable you know if I break it it's not the end of the world and I just thought two is a good number I know I've got three glasses but I feel like I'm more likely to break a glass than a bowl so you need like an extra a backup just in case I feel like I bought more stuff than this oh that's because I did we have also got a cheese grater it was two pounds it's a, like a four-way one, so I'll probably only use that side. Maybe that side if I'm feeling fancy, but let's be real. That side. Oh, I've just realised it's got two of the same side. Whatever. It's a cheese grater. There's not much you can say about that. It's Hopefully it'll be a good cheese grater. But... And then I also got some microfiber cloths, so then I can use those for like cleaning things in my accommodation as soon as I get there um, because I don't know who's been in that room before I'm gonna be in student accommodation for anyone who doesn't know I don't know if I've said that already but yeah you don't know who's slept in there you don't know who's I just want to be able to clean it as soon as I get there so I've got those they were about a pound I think for two so it's not really the end of the world you know pretty cheap pretty good price and then I did get a couple stationary bits. I will probably be using my laptop for most things, but I really like to write on paper and I always need a planner. So I've got this planner. It's a really cute lilac colour. Um, it says good things take time on the front, which I'm not sure whether I like yet, but I really like the inside of this. Um, basically, nothing is dated. It just has like today and then you can write different times down all of these slots here put the date up here put notes and what I really liked was the fact that there's like a to-do list bit because I write a to-do list every day so yeah I just thought that was that was really useful and I think that the diary I'm using at the moment as you know, the diary I'm using at the moment goes up to the end of 2020, so I don't really need this, but um, it's got like a little to-do list bit in, so that's cute and I wanted it. And then I'm also taking some of my folders that I used for my A-levels with me, um, so I got some new dividers because the ones that I had for A-levels have got like my subjects and stuff written all over them and I uh, ripped and stuff and then I also got some poly pockets because I feel like you can never have enough of those like you always lose them you can never find them and they're so so useful or at least I find them really useful so you know don't come at me in the comments because you like using your laptop for everything but I think that is it I still need to get towels I need a baking tray because I don't have anything to like cook on at the moment I was gonna get a bigger saucepan but my sister has given me a wok so I don't need that and last on my list that I can see over there is a clothes horse but my sister has a spare one in the garage so I'm gonna be taking that one it's quite useful because my sister has just finished uni so she's kind of finished with all of her stuff, she's moving in with her boyfriend, so she doesn't need it. So that means I get quite a lot of stuff for free, which is great. Yeah, that's pretty much everything that I have bought. Obviously, I'm going to need to get some towels before I go. I don't have any bed sheets. But apart from that, those are kind of the essential things that I still need to get. If you've made it this far, then you're obviously dedicated. So go and hit the subscribe button. I will be having some uni content coming soon, which is kind of crazy, kind of exciting. But yeah, if you want to stick around, watch that, then go and hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you in next week's video. Cut! <laughs> <laughs>